Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to talk about test ng. Before it's late, let's get started. So guys, test ng is one of the framework that we have in Selenium with the help of which we can generate report of the test cases that we have executed. So if I'm generating, uh, if I'm running test, if I'm running 10 test cases, my test ng have the capability to generate the report of the 10 test cases and give me the report as pass or fail, right? This is one of the major advantage that we have in the test ng, which can help us to give us the test case report. By the way, before I start this topic, just want to let you guys know that Selenium does not have this capability. So Selenium have this drawback of not able to generate its own report. And that is why Selenium, which is actually a tool, need another tool, which is called as the test engine, right? And that's one of the reason why we also call Selenium as, Selenium as not just as a tool, but we also mention Selenium as suit of tools, right? Selenium is not just a single tool, right? It can also be called as a suit of tools because Selenium can have multiple tools within it. Because Selenium today is one of the automation tools that we have today in the market with the help of which we can automate any browsers available over the, over the market. That's right. But Selenium has a lot of drawbacks that it cannot generate its own report, right? That's one of the biggest reason why we want TestNG, which is a third party tool, right? Yes, you heard it right. TestNG is also a tool and also a framework that we have in Selenium. Guys, Selenium is not just for software testers, but it is also used by software developers because with the help of TestNG, not just software testers can automate the application, but even developers can write their unit test cases, right? Talking about the advantages of Selenium, Selenium, the first advantage I have already said you, just repeating it again, Selenium have the capability to generate report, which you can send you to your manager tomorrow, right? The second drawback that we have in the uh, test ng that with the help of test ng, you can run multiple test cases together, right? Not just this, you, you have more advantages too. With the help of the test ng, you can even write the code in such a manner that can even do the parallel testing or a cross browser testing, right? So even these are all advantages we have in uh, test ng. Guys, last but not the least, test ng does not need the main method of Java which is called as public static void main. In test ng, we don't need main method at all because test ng will just have annotations, right? Test ng will definitely have methods, which is true, but test ng will not have the main method because in test, test ng, we just have test ng annotations, right? What are those annotations? Let's discuss about it. Let's Let's focus. So guys, as I'm talking about the test ng concept, in test ng concept, we have so many annotations like at the rate of test, at the rate of before suit. Some people even call it as before suit. And we also have the third one called as before test, one more we have, which is called as before class. We have one more annotation in test ng called as before method. For each one of them, we have afters now, which is called as after suit or after suite.
after test after class and after method guys these are few of the test ng annotations we have which really works in the test ng and here we need not have any kind of main method right now what exactly is the use of these annotations you will understand in my upcoming videos right but i'm going to give you one syntax of test ng class so watch out so guys let's say you're creating a class and let's say your class name is let's say manish take example right start of the class end of the class right so you can use the annotation i'm using the annotation as at the rate of test right and now you can write down your method name and you know that every method will have the access specified so i have written public right this method can also be static so you can write it by the way it can also be non-static you know that and then you will have a return type so i'm writing the return type as void and now your method name so i'm writing the method name as add and you know that every method will have the method starting and method ending guys whatever you are able to see on my screen now is one of the sample class of your test engine with uh, one of the annotations which is called as at the rate of test so guys not to tell you this is called as class body right which i have already explained in my java concept and this is called as your method body and this is your method name called as add and this is called as your annotation whatever you want to do inside this method you can do it here right here you can write your logic and that's all right in the next video i'm going to show you how to configure test ng till then take care of yourself if you really like this video you can definitely share this video with your needy friends who are looking to switch the job into automation testing industry thank you so much guys see you in the next video